Yo, what up, Pete? What up, Pete? So, I'm catching some slack from people, some people, because I work with Big Jeff Audio. So, listen, I hear and see everything on there that's going on. I personally have never had a bad experience with the guy. They treat me good. They give me good prices. I can't just believe some random person that I don't know. Yeah, I don't know them either, but until they do bad to me, then I'll step up and say something or whatever. But don't expect me to just drop a relationship that I have with someone that's treating me good because I've reached out to several people. I'm not a big popular person. My system was built, basically called a budget built. I have four 15-inch Godfathers and two 8Ks. And I got a deal on it. I paid $1,700 for them. And they're loud. It, there it is. It, and this is my... I mean, I've been doing the car audio bid for a minute. All my life. But this is a big step. Just because someone has a big system... Don't mean they know everything. I did installs most of my life. Been, but it was never nothing like this. Because this requires a, a lot of work the tearing into the vehicles tearing them apart and whatnot but uh like i said i have no problems with big jeff audio he's never done wrong to me i have the customer service is great i got a lady i'm not going to put her name out there but she's always when i ask for an invoice i get an invoice i tell her what i want she shows me some pricing helps me out here and there what they can so, but just like I do with Brand X, their customer service, I hear, heard some bad things about them. Never had a bad experience. In fact, I went on vacation. I thought I burned my alternator up, and I didn't. I was just doing stuff wrong. Sent it out to them. I sent the alternator out. Went on vacation. Got home a day later. Oh, I got to climb up here because this is what I want to show you. It's, it was here. So I said to them, what I owe you. Don't worry about $25 shipping. What? Okay, thank you. Upgraded me my voltage regulator. I got it to where when it turns, it burns. So, ain't no confusion. I mean, I don't know, man. My shit's loud. I don't want to have 16 volts. Don't need it. I don't think so. But this is a stepping stone for me. This is the big, biggest I've ever had as far as car audio systems goes. And it's it's pretty damn loud to me. Huh. But uh, next year, I'll upgrade. I'll either add two more of the Godfathers or I'll upgrade to something else. But I'm not going to brand chase. I'm not going to do stuff, look at me, look what I got. Are you? Don't you like that? No, I do what I do. I don't care what anybody else thinks. I could give two shits and never have. That's just how I roll. I don't give a damn what no one thinks about me. I'm 51 years old. I'm with the woman I love. I'm surrounded by people that love me. What more is there? You know, if you start doing stuff to impress other people, spending your money on high-end audio equipment, and you ain't got it, you're, you're not going to... It's not going to end well. I've been there, done that. But, neither here, neither there. Now let's get to the show. But, one more time, I say, I deal with Big Jeff Car Audio because they do me right. They treat me right. All this stuff you hear on the internet, also, I, all this stuff you're seeing on the internet, they're saying, this is just my opinion. Why can't you let someone defend herself? Why you got to block them? Then go on social media and on a rant. That's just some coward shit. But there's always two sides to a story. So, but a lot of people's brand draggers, you know, ball draggers with brands, and it doesn't matter if they're right or wrong, they're going to, you know, sit there and nibble on them nuts. <laughs> All right, let me get to showing you what I'm, I'm doing now. Y'all remember the sunroof? Bye bye love. Bye bye sunroof. I couldn't think of it. But anyways, I'm on my second round of cover. There's four sheets of three quarter inch plywood all the way Yana. 
four sheets all the way yana. The fourth sheet I stuck is not big as the rest, but I cut the piece of wood is perfect. I used the glass, made a pattern. It fit right. I had to pound it down in a little bit, uh, as a matter of fact. Then I sealed the seams with carbon fiber, a two-part epoxy. And then I went over it with two-part epoxy foam to seal whatever might not be there. Then I covered it with a two-part epoxy out over the lips and then Bondo. But it's probably still going to crack. I Probably. I don't know. I don't know. I'm told my system's small. I had one shop tell me my subwoofers are flea market subwoofers to them. People like that, man, suck my... Anywho, and you got a lot of these brave dudes, man, on there talking all that smack. Like, come see me. I'm either taking an ass beating or giving one. Don't talk that shit on the internet. Talk it right here to my face. Anywho, I'm not a violent person, though. I real, I'm a nice person. I don't get violent. But I'll fuck somebody up. And I'm not rolling around out there in the gravel. I'm cutting you. I'm just gonna cut you i'm gonna let you see what your large intestines and small intestines look like because i'm too damn old to be rolling around on the gravel not doing it anyhow i don't want to talk all kind of crap people start thinking i'm not nice but anyhow uh i got a little bit more to do up there um i missed some spots or stuff that i i know i was showing you in the whole journey and I missed some. This is going to be a long one. I'm going to show you some stuff I forgot to show you. So, I got my hot wire ran up here. I got to do the big three on the truck still, I know. Don't judge. Um, I got it ran back. I got to clean the garage again. Imagine that. I got to run it up through to my uh, cap bank. 45 amp. I think it's 45 amp hour. Six pack. I don't know. That's going to run my mids and highs. Um, these amps are going to rock for a little while, but they're gone. Um, I have a couple of buddies that want motorcycle stereos. and I, When I got them, I didn't know that. I just was looking at the power. It, the shit looks big online. It ain't. But uh, they're gone. I'm going to get some salts. So I disconnected that that used to run up to that um them amps i have to i'm not gonna do it now i need to get a hold of steve mead and see if he can make these studs for me a little longer because i can't put my cover on because i use the removable lugs and it hits them on all of them i have three i have over six seven hundred dollars in bus or uh, fuse holders and can't use the covers the excess battery works well like i said before i got my alternator i was demoing trying testing tune and whatever whatnot never charged it put the charger on there it was char it was still charged yeah uh, the green light came on fully charged so i got the amps tuned to the best of my knowledge they're sounding good i'll give you the demo oh i almost dropped my phone I will give you a little demonstration later on after I run the wire to my mids and highs. I did a little cleaning on it, but now it's all dusty from me doing all that sanding. And uh, I got everything. This is temporary the way this my power uh, stuff comes on. Which one is it? I think it's this one. Oh, uh, see you. It's down behind the seats. It's a, it's a party. She's so party. Look at how party that is. Oh. Oh, my battery's dying because I ain't charged it and been doing shit. But, uh, anyway, uh, thank y'all. Man, you've been bumping me up here and there get, with the followers. Share the wealth. Get me out there. Trying to get monetized. Um, check out my YouTube, JT's Garage. Hit that subscribe. And uh, thank y'all for everything. And I appreciate y'all. Like I said, good night.